Oscar Dazzlers. Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz watches schooling, medicine, education, bedtime. Hello, favorite time of the day. All of these form a person into what they later on will be. Except me, I fell off the grid and thank God for YouTube because <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> but there are some people out there that don't believe in the structure of society that we've set upon our children. No, no. They do their own thing. It's called free range, and I'm not talking about eggs, okay? Can't even look at or eat an egg since an egg is surpassing me on Instagram. I'm not even at a million followers on Instagram. And I'm a model, okay? How will Calvin Klein come to me instead of Shawn Mendes if I'm not on a million? Ha! Huh? What are you doing, guys? Today, guys, we're gonna watch a video suggested by you, and it is about a family that raised their children basically under the principles that they don't want to follow society. No medicine, no school, no routine. They go to bed when they want, they do what they want. It's just free range for the children. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. A lot of people think when the milk teeth come through, you should stop breastfeeding. All it comes down to is the, the, the mother and the child. It should be a mutual decision between both of them. Or when they start paying rent and they got a girlfriend, maybe they, then they should stop as well. <laughs> you have to cut that shit off. I'm sorry. There's a certain age where it's like, okay, you're too old to have mum's tit in your mouth, okay? Off-grid parenting is moving towards self-sustainability, less institutionalized. And less grass in the garden. What happened to the grass in the garden? Did you smoke it? When I fell pregnant, I very much felt that I didn't want any medical intervention. All power to you. Must have hurt though. When I saw my daughter being born, I wanted an epidural, okay? I needed pain relief, just fucking watching. Lotus birth is basically, you don't cut the cord, so it, you, you let it naturally fall away. And you keep it in a colander next to your bed. Can you imagine living with that next to your bed? Alexa? Yes? How long do I have to live with this crazy bitch who keeps her insides next to the bed? A while. <laughs> and um, you kind of wrap it up and... What is that? That's a placenta. That's the centre of her placenta. Why is she decorating it? What is on that thing? Treat it with salt and keep it clean. Clean? Put it in the bin! Treat it with salt. She's, she's trying to... She's seasoning her placenta. She's leaning over the bed like, it's fucking raw. Come on! Where's the passion? <laughs> she saw Gordon Ramsay on her placenta! Why she put- why she sprinkled it with petals? Oh, God! Oh, no! You can piss off, I'm not in the mood for you today! For both of my births, it took six days to fall away naturally. Is it in a bag? Has she given the baby its own placenta bag? It's got a placenta briefcase! <laughs> the baby- the baby has its own placenta! Briefcase! He don't look happy, does he? Look. Like, first of all, mum, get me a snug that fits, okay? Shit's tight. Second of all, I'm attached to a bag! Oh, God. No. Adele and Matt have decided not to inoculate either of their children. I... I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I know each to their own, okay? It's their kids, alright? Not my children. I separate my children from innards, okay? But I don't understand this, this cult. All right, I, yeah, that's right, I'm calling you a cult. That don't believe in, I can't say the word, inoculizing? Is that, I, I did it. Linda, I did it! Why, do, I'm clapping now, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Why don't you inoculize your kids? I send my daughter to school so she can one day work for Elon Musk, okay? And hopefully then he'll come and host Daz Watches, all right? That's my goal in life. To go to Mars and do, and do research and shit and keep me in my old age. I can't do that when I send my daughter to school. Assholes, right? It's parents like you, okay? It's the reason why I follow my daughter around school with a can of air. Follow my daughter around getting rid of other kids like, get away from my daughter. Get away. Fuck. Disease! Get back! Stay away! <laughs> that uh, oh no, we don't we don't inoculate our children. We're all about spiritual medication. Your spiritual medication is giving my daughter the flu, then giving me the flu, okay? It's not fucking helping. Just stick a syringe in your child once in a while and inoculate them! Okay? Stop giving my daughter flu, alright? She has to work for SpaceX. 
If I had something serious like cancer or such, um, I would definitely take the natural path. What's the natural path to cancer? Death, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but if my child was that ill, I would get them treatment. It, usually, this is based off a religious thing, right? I can't stand these people that are like, oh, it's God's plan to put a tumor in my head. No, 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 let me, let me tell you something. If my child is seriously ill and all the things we've been praying for since the Middle Ages, kill my son, help me, please treat my son, let my daughter survive. All these prayers we've been flow throwing out there, okay, that are now in the form of like aspirin, okay, chemo, all these things that you could pretty much say might be answered prayers and then say, no, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do the natural thing. You're a dickhead, all right? You're stupid. It's people like this that hold us back and white aliens look at us and go, I'm not landing there. They're insane. Breast milk can be used for, for conjunctivitis or eye infections. Um you put your titty milk in my eye. I swear to God. Imagine waking up in the- <laughs> Imagine waking up in the morning being like, ah! Oh! Oh, I've got an eye infection. Oh, it's so bad. And then your wife runs across the lounge with her tit out. It's like, don't worry, honey, I got you. And just squat, squat it in your eye. You divorce her. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a sterile substance, obviously. It's coming right out the body and it's at the perfect temperature of all the living enzymes. <laughs> Keep your living enzymes away from me. Keep them. We're going we're gonna to make a big box, okay? A little tub, a little Tupperware box. And in this, we're going to put all... All these nasty things like your placenta with salt, all right? And and your enzymes that are living, we're gonna put them all in this box and we're just gonna burn it. And this space, this space is going in there as well. Adele breastfeeds both of her children, Ulysses, aged five, and Astara, who's one. Glad he doesn't go to school. These friends would beat the shit out of him. Five years old. But the, the baby has still got that in their DNA from when they used to be a hunter-gatherer. You... Is he eating? the leaves at the park. That's not even a hunter-gatherer. That's just fucking weird. Is he eating leaves? Is that a leaf? Is he eating a leaf? Get him a subway! He used to be a hunter-gatherer, you know, their ancestors, and they need to feel safe. It's highly yeah, he's safe on that rickety-ass roof, isn't he? It's probably nailed. Look at it. It's about centuries old. He's so safe in that tree on that on top of that wooden roof that's about to collapse. I was walking with a star outside the shop and, and she's barefoot. And so a gentleman noticed this and said, you do realize your daughter's not wearing any shoes. He's wearing shoes though, isn't he? It's the greatest way for her to feel life. No, it's the greatest way for her to get a tetanus. If she steps on a piece of glass and it slices her foot open, that's not feeling life. That's a pain in the ass and stitches and possibly an infection. We don't live in the stone age anymore. There are pavements, there are there's glass, there's the things that you just have to protect your children from. So we all sleep in the same room and it works out quite nice for us. Cause that's normal! Sorry. I hope when they get older though, they don't. I mean, everyone wants their own space. Toys to, for them to be interacting with the animals and the plants and, and learn. Your, your kids eating the plants, love. There's interacting with life and wildlife. Then there's just straight up eating a bush. They think they're lambs, okay? They're eating shit in the garden. Well, I would be very interested to know your thoughts on this style of parenting. I am seeing this more and more. I agree with some aspects, but then I disagree with, uh, with others. I believe education is important. I believe the world is the way it is. And as much as we want to not care about it, if you want your child to succeed in this world, because life doesn't care about what you think. It doesn't give a damn. I want to walk down the street naked, but I can't do it. It's indecent exposure. There's kids about. No one wants to see that shit. You have to respect the rules, okay? Otherwise, you're in jail and you get arrested naked and end up on uh, the six o'clock BBC News. Guys, let me know what you think about this in, uh, in the comments below. Like, love, caress my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>